Ghostman radio station. And tonight, my guest is Richard Jacob, who's going to t- tell me a little bit about what he's going to talk about today. So, Richard, what are you talking about today? Well, uh, my name is uh, Jay. Um, I'm the co-founder of Jay and Zach's Urban Adventures. Um, there's also Zach, who is my nephew, is the other co-founder as well. We go around um, exploring abandoned, amazing buildings and stuff, and and we video record them. We take pictures. We we also we, if we can't get into buildings, then we can't get in. But we leave. We go in, but we don't steal or anything. So. So what, how much research do you do on the building before you go in? Or do you like to go in blind? Uh, well, some places we like to go in blind, but some places we do uh, researches and the history and stuff like that and why it was been abandoned and stuff. What's the most weirdest thing that's ever happened when you've gone somewhere? Um, the weirdest place... Oh, well... The worst place was Curtis Drive when I explored that in the daytime. I had like things thrown at me. I had uh, I could hear musical boxes being played. I imagine it was quite scary. Well, not really, because I've only done it the last year or so, and my first location that I did was an old abandoned supermarket where I was living at the time and it was pretty pretty good and so I started doing that then building up from that so what well, so if say people want to know roughly what you do don't give away, give away too many secrets but roughly how do you go about an investigation well we like we said we we, we me and the team we look up locations we think if we think they've been abandoned, if they have been abandoned, we look look for the research, and we also ask other urban exploring teams as well, for, like let their location. Some will give us some, some won't. And what is your personal connection to this? Have you ever had any experiences yourself that inspired you to do uh, this? Well, like I said, I was working at the time, I came out of work and I've just literally decided one day, I mean, I'm going to, ex- going to explore the local band and supermarket, and then since from then, I've been into it more. Well, imagine it's quite uh, uh, um, uh, t- taxing out of your, your day, because as, as you say, because sometimes you can't do it always during the daytime. Obviously, because ghosts don't like well, to. They don't normally like to come out and say, "Hi, do it at twelve o'clock. I'm going to come out and hold you." Yeah, you could be there for like three, four trips, and nothing I mean, happens. Some places, some places, uh, myself and have done at night time, but we like some places we like to do in the day to go like the way in and the way out and stuff like that, and how bad it can be. So, when you do your filming, do you do the? Does someone do the filming? And you talking to the camera, or is it you doing the filming and talking? It's, it? it's personally myself. We do like Facebook lives and that. And then we introduce ourselves, and then we tell them a bit about the location, and then we take them around with us and see. They can see that what the building was like and how it was left and stuff. Imagine you get quite a good lot of response because as you're doing it on the, on the spot, people might see something that you may yeah. not spotted. Yeah, we do. We get a lot of um, supporters saying, "Oh, did you notice this? Or did you notice that? Or um, basically things like that." I know your group on Facebook is a private group, isn't it? You can't you can't just join it. it is, yeah. Which, no, we we put on private, and then if you want to like come and think, there's a couple of questions that uh, you need to answer, and just the right if you if we think you're the right person or whatever, you'll be accepted. If not, you'll be declined from the group. Well, that's fair enough. You've got to be a bit like that these days. And unfortunately, you can't trust people yeah. as much as you used to. 
that's true. How did how do you, well do you get on with your cousin? Do you ever fall out about what project you like to do? Well, 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 it's my nephew, but we, we get on my house on fire. We have a laughing joke on the locations. We take the mick out of each other. I mean, that is what we we do. We just we don't go to to the place and say, "Oh, we uh, be miserable." Right? We have a uh, comedy videos. That's cool. I, I like the fact that he, it's better if you get on. It's he's he no good falling out on. So, but like yeah. you say, sometimes some uh, paranormal groups don't talk to the other lot. I, I can't understand why they. Well, no, they bit daft that. No, they take it. They take they take it seriously and stuff. Then, but this is not what we're all about. We're all about to help our first. Even when we team up with uh, teams and stuff, they we have a laugh with them. Yeah, I've seen some of your stuff, and it, it comes across as if you're having a good time. You're sort of taking the subject seriously as well. I mean, you're not totally yeah. light-hearted, but you're sort of saying, "Hey, look uh-huh. at this well, now. Oh, look over there. What's that?" Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's all, it's all about having a good laugh and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Then it makes the day or night uh, better. I imagine, I imagine it makes your day a bit more exciting, especially in the world of coronavirus at the moment. Yeah, I mean, that's brought us back a lot of places we have got. A, uh, next month we've got a really big, massive location to do, and I don't want to go into much detail of the location, but it took myself nearly, what, over a year to finally get there. Well, that's fair enough. I, I can understand why you don't want to give it away, because in case someone else gets there before you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it, uh, I can tell you a little bit about it. It's, a, it's like a base, but it's not the base that we're interested in. It's what's on the base. Have you ever been into these uh, um, uh, ex-grave uh, cemeteries where they've uh, abandoned them? Yeah. Yeah, we've do, uh, um, I've done all like I've done all we've done all cemeteries, we've done all churches, we've done all like schools, um, houses, care homes, and things like that. Imagine there's some sort of really weird. I know I saw one place. I think I can't remember if it's true or not. About a haunted toilets somewhere. Yeah, I thought that's going to be a strange place to go to do it. <laughs> in investigation, <laughs> turn of an abandoned toilet. Oh, yeah. uh, the way the bed, I was saying. It's, it's like when um, I went to, we went to explore in Hastings. It was an um, abandoned church, but it was just the ruins, but it still had the uh, tower. That was an experience. I imagine it was. And do do you do 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 you like to be independent from your own other groups, or did you belong to other groups before now? Well, um, sometimes we do our own exploring and stuff, but we've uh, we've not long been in contact with an old team that we know, and they're um, teaming up with us on quite a new 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 locations. Do you find it easy easy that way? Because sometimes they may be able to access something that you couldn't so easily. Well, to, to tell you the truth, it doesn't really, it doesn't bother me as long as we get the location done with and we've explored it and stuff like that. Then I'm happy with that. I imagine the travelling side doesn't bother you then. Well, it all depends on the uh, the funds. Some we can go locally. Some we have to like save up, then go go there. Yeah, I was going to say money must be a, a bit of an issue because say there's a place somebody says, "Oh, I've got a lovely place in the all of city," and you go, "Yeah, great, but just, yeah, like getting there." <laughs> you know, if you fund us to go there, we'll go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perhaps you could do like um, what's it? Uh, well, you spot a Kickstarter campaign or something. Yeah, we we'll, we'll we've 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 started up doing our new website. We're we're looking to get magazines out. We'll, we've also started doing merchandise as well. So, what's the way to go? Because 
with a magazine you can give a little bit more of how you went where what research you did a little bit about where, who, who, who what you saw and how what, who, who was presumed to be haunting the place because sometimes it isn't the most obvious haunting is it people always hear the most famous yeah, no. people know all the famous famous things but sometimes it might be like a, a World War Two soldier walking past yeah exactly do you get many animal ghosts uh, what animal places? Um, no, we haven't really done them at the minute. Yeah, it'd be interesting. It would be nice to see if there was like a, an old uh, kennel, kennels or cattery that would let you come in. Yeah, we've, we've googled a few of them, but um, but we don't we don't know if they're still there or or they're being re refurbished or what. Hmm. I suppose it's hard to know. Um, do you sort of like look it up on the map and then find out where it is and if you can co have a contact number, obviously contact the owner and say, hi, is it okay to come in and do some yeah, investigation, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but if, it's, if, it's, if, if, there's, no, if there's no number or anything and, and it's been abandoned for like many, many years, then we can go down and explore it and stuff. I imagine you don't. I imagine you leave it exactly as you found it, as you say, because that's important to get that across. Yeah, to we, people. Do, we do. We do. We don't. We don't take anything from anywhere because it's disrespectful. It could be someone's personal belongings, or it could be this, that, and other. This is why we do the videos. We take the pictures, and then we leave. Well, then also you've got them the pictures and the video as evidence anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much anyway, does it, that side of it? Yeah, exactly. Have you ever decided to do... Uh, have you ever put your Facebook videos onto YouTube? Yeah, we've got... We're just doing it... We've just done a new YouTube channel and all our videos are from when we do the like Facebook live and that will, will be and out there in a minute. Because then people can look that up on YouTube and then watch it back. Because sometimes you're not always around on the Facebook yeah. when exactly you're doing it. Or you might have missed it. You think, oh, well, we do want to watch that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, what do, do, do what does your partner think of you doing all this? Well, she, she, she don't mind me do, She doesn't mind me doing it as long as um, like the family comes first as well. So I imagine also you have to make sure you uh, some people do the uh, uh, blessings or the cleansing routines. Do you do any of that? Yeah. Yeah, when we team up with other teams, like when they do the paranormal stuff, they do like everybody's blessing and stuff like that. And then we, and then we go in. Have you ever felt that something's come back with you? Well, when I when I was in it before, um, I, I, I've had well, I did the Ouija board. The that I was attached to something. Then when I did uh, the. Uh, the Grey Street in Hall, I have things attached to me then. I imagine that felt very uneasy. It was, because um, one minute I was happy as anything, and the next minute my mood started to go down and stuff. Yeah, because that, that's the side of pe that they, we, people, when we do investigations, they have to look into a bit, because it doesn't happen all the time, obviously. You could go to... No, no. Ninety no. percent of places, nothing happens. You know, you know, it might be a naughty ghost, but not like a demonic ghost. But you may get yeah, the one, yeah. you may get that one, and then you're thinking, "What? Why is this happening to me?" And then you realise what it yeah, is. Exactly. And then you think, "Oh, I better go and see someone professional to deal with it." Yeah. I spoke. I sp I I I've done a few interviews with people that claim to have done exorcisms and that was cool. oh, I've, ne I've never done that I've never done that and I don't intend to do that no no I, I, I was listening to him and thought and thinking well, it's a bit of a dangerous thing to get into unless you really, really know what you're doing <laughs>
It's extremely, it's extremely dangerous. Have you got any other ambitions you'd like to do from from your project? Have you got other ideas you would like to try in the future? Well, there's, there's many, many things that I would like to do in the future, but at the minute it's just this uh, urban exploring that we're doing. Do you, and when you do your exploring, do you use your basic cat, your, like I do, you use like all the basic materials you can find rather than being too over technical? No, no, we, we just use um, our phones like when we do the lives and stuff, so. I think that's better sometimes because sometimes you can be over technical. You know what I mean? You can be all yeah. these buzzers and bells and that. I think they, they, they can be distracting. Yeah. Just like you, you say, you might go into a building and you might see a light and go, did you see that? And you get loads of comments saying, oh yeah, actually, I saw that. Oh, that was in your light site. Yeah, yeah I saw yeah. that. And you think, oh, that, that's confirmation of what you've seen, you know. Yeah, exactly. Has, has anybody ever reported back to you saying they've heard voices talking to you and you haven't heard them? Yeah, we've had, we've had a few like that, we have. And I, I always find it strange because when they normally do paranormal ones, they have that machine that plays back random words. Yeah. I'm not too sure how adequate that can be sometimes. Yeah. It's with... It's like when we teamed up with uh, the paranormal team uh, last year, they had all the equipment and stuff, and, and it was really... It was good, though. Do you... Do you, do you I imagine you get lots of more... Um, information... You can, as you said before, you feed back information to each other... And sometimes there might be a thing they say, oh, where did you go back there? We didn't realise that. Yeah, we just like that, so. So what did you do before, before you went into, went into ghost hunting then? Yeah, I, I did that a few years ago. And... Yeah, it was all right, and I picked up some really good activity, but it wasn't what I really wanted to do. I wanted to go into the, uh, the urban. It makes you a bit more unique as well, doesn't it? it makes you stand out a bit from the crowd. Yeah, it does. Because I'm, I'm fortunate at the moment, it's, it's a bit flooded, the market. It is. It's too, many, it's too many teams. There's too many people against each other, and one saying this, one saying that. Oh, this team's rubbish. That team's uh, everything else. So I was just sick and tired of it. Yeah, I got a little bit fed up. I've I've been a member of a few things, and I stopped being it because one wouldn't talk to the other, and this one wouldn't say this about that. And I thought, I don't want to know. I just I just want to put it out there. If someone does says, oh, that's a load of rubbish, I think, oh, fine. I'm not worried anymore, you know. Exactly. Everyone, everyone thinks of putting everyone on that side. And I would say, it, it's like all things. That, that anything you, you, Once you get into a so-called subculture, do you have to have a little bit of the belief yeah. about what you're doing anyway, don't you? You can't, you can't just go out one day and say, oh, I'm going to film up an abandoned building. You've got to believe there's something there. In the worst while, were you going to that family building in the first place? Yeah. Exactly. Because I've always said, if, um, you don't have, if, uh, when you go into place, you don't always need to say, say something or whatever. You know what I mean? So, where, so where, where can people find you? Obviously on Facebook, but we're mentioning exactly where they can find you on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, it's under as Keith and Zach Urban Adventures, and we're also on YouTube under the same name as Jane Zach Urban Adventures. Well, as I said, I have had a look at some of them. I found it very interesting. I, I, I like your straightforward style of talking, talking to fit about things. You're very, you're straight to the camera. Yeah, we. Yep. It's the, uh, it's the best in 
Ah, eu imaginei que eu, 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 eu very proud of you, you that you live in. I'm sorry. I imagine you're very proud of the area that you live in. Hello? I imagine you're very proud of the area that you, that you live in. Where you live, live. you're very proud of that you, you found quite a lot of active uh, locations. I have. Um, the places that we've been and stuff and the places that we're coming up, we're really proud of. Oh, please, yeah. And as I say, you did remind me that we did talk two years ago, but I couldn't remember it. So I did apologise for that. <laughs> but, you know, two, two years is like a long time in life for the universe and everything. But I'm glad you yeah, still I, know, I, I do. I, I do follow you on uh, sports by as well. Uh, and I, I do think, I do think that we, we, I try to get things out there as much as I can. Sometimes you get good weeks with loads of stuff on. And other weeks, you'd, you'd be hard pressed to find anything. Yeah. Well, the coronavirus is added to that because nothing's going out unless it's coronavirus or that's something else, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing that's the thing that's stopping us at the minute doing places and that, so. Well, I'm glad you're still active. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to look at more at your videos. Hopefully, when people listen back to this, they look you up and they'll, they'll go, "Oh yes, I'll definitely look up Jay." Oh, that, and that, that sounds a good, 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 good thing to do. Open event, go open adventures like that. Press one day, you may even get a net. You may, you may even get a Netflix series out of it. You never know. <laughs> This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get uh, big, big things out of it. We're trying to get the Netflix. We're trying to get Amazon. We're trying to get like seasons and stuff. So we never know. Out of little icons, big trees have been made. You never know. You, you, you can. You, no, I mean, they're always looking for new ideas. They're always looking for something new to put on. So. Yeah, because at the minute, uh, on two of the shops, absolutely rubbish. Yes, they, they watched a couple of the, the, new, the um, Unexplained Mysteries the other day. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I watched that myself. Oh, my God, it's rubbish. Absolute <laughs> rubbish. In America, they, they, they made it very uninteresting. It's like, it's like reading the news. They saw a UFO up in the sky. <laughs> what colour was the UFO in the sky? I think you made an interesting subject sound like you're paint, dri- painting, paint, watching paint dry backwards. Exactly. So what have you got planned for the rest of the day then? Um, at the minute, trying to um, cook instead of tea for kids. Oh, well, they come first. You, you must never forget the kids. Thank you. <laughs> this is, uh, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean to be funny. I'm not really about to cut the shot because I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no problem, mate. I understand. <laughs>